Hi guys, we are Saj, Sabina, Zainab and Iman and today we are going to be communicating to you a mathematical idea. There are many different applications of mathematics, many that we use every day without even realising it and one particular use that we are going to focus on is makeup. There is a growing craze on social media behind highlight and contour so we are going to focus on how to apply these products in order to enhance your features depending on your facial shape. We are going to show you how trigonometry can be used in order to apply highlight and contour. There are many different types of face shapes but we are going to do a general demonstration. We are going to demonstrate on Zainab's face which is an oval shape. We can split her face into four sections. This face has a length of 18.5 centimeters and the width through the middle of the face is 15 centimeters. So where should you contour? <laughs> the sides of your forehead just slightly to make your hairline appear narrower. The area below your cheekbones starting from your ears and ending in the middle of your cheek. So where should you highlight? In the middle of your forehead and the middle of your chin and under your eyes and along your brow bone to brighten your eye area. We will now use simple trigonometry to find the perfect contour and highlight lines. We measure AB as 7 cm and BC as 4 cm. Using simple trigonometry we get tan T is equal to 4 over 7 so T is approximately 30 degrees. What other information can we determine? Well the angles in a triangle all add up to 180 degrees so the angle ACB is approximately 60 degrees. The length AC can be found using Pythagoras' theorem where AC squared is equal to 7 squared plus 4 squared so AC is approximately 8.06 cm. We see the contour line is parallel to the adjacent of the triangle by 0.5 cm. So we've seen how trigonometry can be used to enhance our features using makeup, but how could Fibonacci numbers be related? The next number is the sum of the two previous numbers, so 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus 3 is 5, and so on and so forth. We can see a more interesting pattern when we square the Fibonacci numbers. The pattern is 1, 1, 4, 9, 25. When we calculate 1 plus 1 plus 4, we get 6. When we calculate 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9, we get 15. Or when we calculate 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 25, we get 40. Now these numbers may not look like Fibonacci numbers, but 6 is equal to 2 times 3, 15 is equal to 3 times 5, and 40 is equal to 5 times 8, which are Fibonacci numbers. If we divide a Fibonacci number by the one that comes previously in the sequence, we see an unusual pattern occurring. The numbers grow towards 1.618033, which is known as the golden ratio. We see this ratio everywhere in nature, including our faces. The ancient Greeks used to say that faces in the ratio of 1 to 1.618 were the most beautiful, and all beauty is mathematical. But is the golden ratio the be all and end all to beauty? Well, before you pull out a ruler and try and measure how beautiful you are, you should know that celebrities who are known for their beauty, such as Angelina Jolie and Florence Colgate, actually failed to match up to the supposed beauty ratio. So, that concludes today's video. We hope that you enjoy this video and will now appreciate the multiple hidden uses of maths in everyday life. And always remember, you are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>